Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monique J, and you're watching Makeup by Mo. So let's just get into this tutorial because I didn't want to make it too, too long. So basically, I did my brows and my base my lids off of camera, and here I'm just showing you what I use to achieve this. Thing. So here we're going to hop into the um, Juvia's Place Nubian Pilot 2. And I'm going for my transitional shade, which is the color Morocco. And here I'm using my Urban Decay brush, which is one of my favorite, favorite blending brushes. And I'm using that to blend it out. It's my go-to brush, y'all. I use this brush for everything. Like, this brush to me is life. So you're going to blend, 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 and after you're done blending, well after I'm done blending, I go into the palette and go back for my crease color which is the color Jezebel. And that's like a burgundy or maroon color, it's real pretty, real subtle. Love this color. Actually the pan is almost empty because I pretty much use that color as a crease color all the time. So now that I'm done with my crease, I'm going to go in for my base color, my lid color. <clears throat> and here I go into the palette again, and the color I'm using is the color Egypt, which is a green color. Pretty color too, and I'm using my fingertip. I learned that when you use your finger, you can get more product and a better spoon with it. Um, I do use a brush sometimes, but it depends on what look I'm going for. I can't reach the inner corners of my eyes with my fingertips, so I tend to use the brush anyway. I don't want to end of that Urban Decay brush. It's flat. So here I go back into the palette, and I'm going for the color Nefertiti, which is a pretty orange color, like. And I pop that on the inner corners of my eyes, my lids. So now that I'm finished that, I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and wipe away um, any leave out that might have fell. Well here I'm going back into my crease and I'm just going to blend that out a little more just to get out any harsh lines. So here and there, I'm going to use these glitter sticks, um, the color orange and green to go over top, but it's going to go over top of my lashes. So here first, I'm going to go into um, my Peacock Mascara and use them for my lashes. Give them a little bit of volume and have, because I am going to put falsies on, I need something for them to stick on too. So here are them lashes I should just show I got them from Sephora, which they ran about 15 bucks. Um, the adhesive I'm using is through LA Colors. So I'm going to put, put them on the lashes and then I'm going to sit them down so they can dry a little bit and also get tacky. So now I'm going in my waterline with LA Colors. And it is in the color black. And then my waterline is done. I'm gonna go in with my foundation, and that is through Fenty Beauty in the color 440. But I'm gonna use my e.l.f. blending brush to blend that foundation out. Also, guys, too, if you're too toned like me, when you blend in your foundation, you want to make sure you get your neck and along the side of your neck and behind the ears going on down, just everything, so you're not walking around looking like. Um, I don't know, two-tone monster. And now my falsies is done, I'm gonna pop them on. Them tweezers I'm using, I also got them from Sephora too. They was about $12.50. So now that my lashes are done, I'm gonna go in and highlight just a little bit. And I'm going in with my LA Pro Concealer in the color Toast, I believe. So I'm highlighting under my eyes, my cupid's bow, my chin. And when I'm done now, I'm going to blend that out with a wet beauty blender. So 
So now that I blend in and set that, I'm going in with my glitter liners in the color green and orange. I'm just doing my lids with them. Very pretty. I love them glitter sticks. I got them from Amazon too. I order everything off of Amazon. Now I'm going back in with my peacock flare and I'm going to give my falsies a little more volume. Popping in my nose ring. And I'm going to go in a highlight. And that I purchased from Walmart and it's called Hard Candy. And the colors in there are beautiful and I couldn't use just one. So I normally swatch over all three. And then go over the parts that I highlight with just to give it a little glow. And now I'm going in with my blush matte palette. And this palette have about 8 to 10 different colors in it. And they're not numbered or named. So I usually just dibble and dabble in them. And pretty much go with the flow of it and just dab it in. So after I'm done with the blush, I'm going to go in my Juvia's Place Defining Stick. Um, I'm sorry, the finding brush and it is J111 and I'm going into the color Giza and I'm going to use that for my highlighter over my brow bone. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going back in with another stick, which is actually a lip brush, which I don't use it for. I just like the point of it because it can get my inner corners real good. So I went back in with the color Giza for that. And I didn't do too much of it. I just did it very lightly. So now I'm going to smoke out my waterline. Um, I went back into the palette for the color Jezebel again. And I'm just going to give my waterline just a little bit of smoky. Not a lot. And pretty much, you guys, that's the finished look. Real simple. So that's my Urban Decay Setting Spray, and I use that to set my face. So now here, I'm going on to the hair. I'm going in with my Nairobi um, Wrapping Mousse. And here I was going to leave it in the low pony, but then I figured, you know what? It's only like bobbling flesh. Just, you know, let it hang loose. And I wanted to wake up my curls. I try to wake them up with a little bit of mousse and then I use some water which is in the bottle just water only plain water um, and I just juice them up a little bit so after juicing my curls up I'm gonna go in with my black radiance and that is in the color rich mahogany I'm just gonna lob up my part a little bit and pretty much just the finished look, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Again, you're watching Makeup by Mo. My name is Monique J. And like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys are aware of when I upload videos. Thanks again. Bye.